Hello ladies and gentlemen, I welcome to today's edition of Programming Wizards. Today we are going to look at how to make your custom progress bar. Okay? Just as you can see in the screen, this is a custom progress bar. You can see the color, uh, you can see uh, the ends, okay? the radius of the progress bar. It's a custom one. Well, it's doing the work in the background and updating uh, the progress bar. So, uh, we're going to see that one, so please fire up your IDE. I'm using uh, Eclipse as usual. So, once you've fired up your IDE, uh, there are some things you're going to do. Like you can see, I've already uh, put my button over here. So when the user clicks this process button, the work in the background will start, okay? And then, uh, w if we come to Excel, you can see, I've already, you can add your button. Uh, then I've also added a progress bar okay and then as you can see after adding your progress bar just down here you can set it's uh, drawable to my progress bar to my progress actually this is my progress it is an XML file it is what I'm going to show you, you uh, in a short while it is what defines uh, the like the coloring and the radius and the whatever okay so uh, just have it there and then here it is I've placed it in the rest and then are uh, drawable here it is you can see it my progress.xml okay I'm going I'm not going to type it because I want this video to be shorter so you can see uh, there this item then background then are uh, the, the shape you can see we have defined uh, the radius of the corners of the progress bar then you can see the gradient uh, there is this coloring okay the angle 270 and then uh, you can also see uh, the secondary progress you can see the radius 5 D dip uh, coloring okay so you can copy these ones I'm not going to uh, retype them again uh, because I want the video to be shorter these are what are defining uh, the, the the customizations okay so uh, after doing that one you come to our main activity so the first thing that we're going to do is that I'm going to uh, define or I'm going to declare a couple of buttons buttons and the progress bar So uh, the f button, I'll call it process btn, then a uh, progress bar. Sorry, my computer today is in for it. Progress bar, uh, I'll call it pb. Then uh, I shall also remember we want the job to be done in the background. So I, sh I shall also define a handler handler is equal to new handler and uh, then uh, I'll set the progress to zero I'll initialize it then next we import the necessary classes import button import progress bar and import handler okay so I will come to our own create method the first thing I uh, shall initialize uh, the above say uh, progress pb equal to find view by id r dot id dot progress bar one I hope that's my id then I shall cast it to my progress bar to progress bar I shall also uh, initialize the button and I'll say process 
btn is equal to find view by id then I'll give it r dot id dot process id then very first I uh, shall cast it to button okay then after doing that one uh, I shall hide uh, the progress bar when the form is when the when the activity is created the first thing I will want to hide the progress bar so that you can only show it uh, when the button is clicked so I just say pb dot set visibility okay then over there I shall pass view okay view dot in visible so this one shall be responsible for hiding uh, the progress bar. Remember, we only want to show it uh, when the button is clicked. After that one, uh, when btn is clicked, now these are what we want to do. First of all, uh, we shall set its own click listener. Okay. Obviously, that's what we want to do to set its own click listener. So just say uh, process. dot set on click this now then inside it we shall pass view uh, dot on click listener we shall create an inner class then uh, what we will do this is where now we shall call our process method Okay, I'll have this here a method known as process. Now that's the method that we shall call. So obviously the next thing that we come to do is that we come to define uh, that particular method. So say private void uh, process. Now inside our process method, uh, the first thing that we shall do we shall want to manipulate uh, the characteristics of the progress bar so the first thing we shall want to show it remember uh, this process method shall be called when the button is clicked so the first thing we shall show the progress bar okay the, then uh, we shall also set it to zero okay then also set its uh, maximum so I shall say pb dot set visibility then view dot visible. So when the button is clicked, the first thing uh, the progress bar will be set to visible. Then once it's been set to vis visible, we shall also want to set uh, its progress to zero okay remember we had already yeah i shall just put it as a zero then uh, we shall also want to set uh, the maximum to be a hundred after that one uh we shall uh, assign we shall assign uh, the progress bar uh, remember we, we defined its properties in the XML file because we want it to be custom okay so we shall assign it to our custom uh, progress bar the one that we made in the XML so that one we just say uh, pb dot set uh, progress drawable okay then inside there uh, we shall pass uh, we shall pass the the uh, the drawable okay now forget the drawable the first thing that we need we need a, a view so here I shall pass view v then I'll come here I'll change this one to 
see then I'll also pass it over there so here I shall just say uh, v dot get resources then uh, dot get drawable okay then inside it that is where we shall pass uh, the id of the drawable by just passing the r dot drawable dot my progress so that one I uh, shall have set it to the custom properties that we set okay after that one uh, now we shall set it to zero we shall set the progress bar to zero set status we shall just say progress is equal to zero okay. then I uh, shall do the stuff in background in a background thread so uh, to do that one it's very simple actually what you shall do just say new just create a, a thread instance new thread then inside it we pass a runnable okay then uh, in our run method we shall have a loop okay now I shall just say while progress remember uh, the progress is the status the progress status well progress is less than a hundred okay then uh, actually let us just try thread dot slip let me give it a uh, 300 milliseconds and then catch the exception interrupted exception e then uh, e dot print stack trace sorry Don't. Then uh, remember uh, what we want to do is that we want to there is some heavy work to be done. Okay, so uh, uh, here I shall just define uh, that heavy work. Do heavy work. Now what I shall say I shall just say that progress is equal to do work. In a short while we shall uh, define this method known as do work. Actually, what it would be responsible for it will be responsible for doing that particular heavy work then returning an integer ok now that integer is what we shall use to set the progress hope uh, I'm clear then uh, after that one now we shall come to update uh, the progress uh, by just saying handler remember we created a handler uh, object earlier handler dot post then we pass of course uh, the runnable instance sorry let me use auto completion so that it generates for me uh, some code then uh, inside the run method as usual we shall now set the progress that set progress then we pass our progress so uh, the, the do work method it will be responsible for doing that particular heavy work then it will be returning the integer we'll capture that integer and we shall use it here uh, to update the progress okay and uh, then here remember this is a, a handler so it has to be started if you exclude this st start method it won't it won't uh, run okay then now we can come here and then the method responsible for heavy work I should just say private void do work 
then uh, no it should not be void it should in fact be integer then it wants me to return some stuff so I, sh I shall just return a hundred but before I return a hundred the first thing I will want to do I will want to check if progress is less than a hundred okay in which case I will post I will return that particular progress okay so it is after returning this progress this progress is w it is what shall be uh, assigned here okay and then once it has been assigned here uh, it shall be used to update the progress bar here then uh, what we shall do to simulate the heavy work uh, what we shall do simi simi let heavy work we shall just use a thread to sleep again so try a thread to sleep then uh, I shall just pass a thousand milliseconds then I shall catch interrupted exception e dot print stack trace okay then I uh, remember uh, we have to increment the progress so uh, I shall say increment uh, progress we do that one simply by saying progress plus plus okay I think that should be fine so let me see if we have any error okay let's now run our stuff and see I'll choose my Android application So uh, you can see, you can see our app here, uh, this button, now when I click it, uh, progress, you can see, it is being updated, okay? So guys, uh, hope you've enjoyed the tutorial, hope you've known how you can uh, write your custom uh, progress bar. Remember, the coloring we used, you can also change your colors, okay? You can use, you can just define your own colors and uh, do it as you wish okay so please if you love this tutorial please subscribe uh, to this channel comment on this video uh, like it and share it with your friends hope uh, wish you a good day uh, see you next time